It's that day of the year again when we... Wait, scratch that. It's not that time of the year, it's February 29th. Today, we're diving into the extraordinary world of leap years and the elusive February 29th. We will learn why February is the shortest month, how February 29th doesn't help with that at all, and what happens if you are born on this awkward date. In the style of our channel, we will also discuss some historic events and fun facts that happened on this day throughout history. So get ready for a leaptastic adventure. Let's kick things off with a little calendar trivia. Ever wonder why February is the shortest month? Well, let's rewind the clock all the way back to ancient Rome. You see, the early Roman calendar had only 10 months. But then along came Numa Pompilius, the legendary second king of Rome who decided to shake things up. He added two months to the calendar, January and February. However, in order to align the calendar with the lunar cycle, one of the months had to sacrifice a few days. And since February was the last month added to the calendar, it was the one that had to adapt. Fast forward to Julius Caesar's grand calendar overhaul in 45 BCE. He introduced the Julian calendar, which added an extra day to February every four years to keep things in sync with the Earth's orbit around the Sun, among other reforms. Now let's talk about those lucky leapers born on February 29th. They're like the unicorns of birthdays, rare and magical. But here's the kicker. Legally, you age a whole year on the day after February 28th, so on March 1st in a non-leap year. However, many leapers prefer to celebrate their birthdays on February 28th since they were born in February, not March. So if you've got a goofy uncle who insists he's only 10 years old because he's a leapling, well, in terms of mental age, he might be onto something, but legally, he is still 40. And now, let's crunch some numbers. What are the chances of being born on February 29th? Well, with 365 days in a year and February 29th occurring only once every four years, the probability comes down to simple math. There's roughly a 1 in 1,461 chance of being born on leap day. With a global population of around 7.9 billion people as of 2021, and assuming an even distribution of births throughout the year, which isn't entirely accurate but helps for estimation purposes, we can estimate that approximately 5.4 million people worldwide are leaplings. That's enough to fill a small country with unique birthday celebrations every four years. But February 29th isn't just about leap years, it's a time capsule of history. From Julius Caesar's calendar overhaul to leap year proposals, this extra day has seen it all. For example, in 1692, the first warrants during the Salem witch trials were issued on, you guessed it, February 29th. Talk about a spooky coincidence. But let's dive deeper into the historical events that have left their mark on February 29th. In 2012, Tokyo Skytree, the world's tallest tower, was completed. Standing at a staggering 2,080 feet or 634 meters, this architectural marvel has become an iconic part of Tokyo's skyline. In 1288, Scotland and France signed the Treaty of Salisbury, formally recognizing each other's sovereignty. In 1704, French forces attacked Deerfield, Massachusetts during Queen Anne's War, resulting in the Deerfield Massacre. In 1940, Hattie McDaniel won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her role in Gone with the Wind, becoming the first African American to win an Oscar. In 1960, the first official Playboy Club opened in Chicago, Illinois, founded by Hugh Hefner. And now that we are done with the serious history facts, let us add some fun ones too. Leap Year Capital, the town of Anthony, Texas and Anthony, New Mexico, collectively known as the Leap Year Capitals of the World, hold a combined festival every leap year to celebrate the occasion. Leap Year Babies, people born on February 29th are often referred to as leaplings or leapers. Famous leaplings include rapper Ja Rule, motivational speaker Tony Robbins, and Italian composer Gioacchino Rossini. Leap Year Proposals In some cultures, particularly in Ireland and Britain, it's tradition for women to propose marriage to their partners on February 29th, a day known as Bachelor's Day or Leap Day. Leap Year Laws some legal systems have unique provisions related to February 29th. For example, in Scotland, February 29th was traditionally the one day when a woman could propose marriage to a man. 
and if he declined, he was required to compensate her with gloves, fabric, or money. Leap Year Superstitions In Greek culture, it's believed that getting married or starting new ventures on February 29th brings bad luck. Similarly, in Taiwan, it's considered unlucky to have a funeral or burial on this day. Leap Year in Literature February 29th plays a significant role in literature, such as in Gilbert and Sullivan's operetta The Pirates of Penzance, where the character Frederick is bound to serve the pirates until his 21st birthday, which falls on February 29th, but due to leap year, he won't reach it until he's 84 years old. And there you have it, folks. The scoop on February 29th and leap years. Who knew such a tiny day could hold so much history and superstition? Now go seize that day. You only get it every 1,461 days. If you enjoyed this video or want to learn a daily history fact for every day of the year, not just February 29th, consider subscribing. And don't forget to comment below if you or someone you know is a leaper. If so, let us know when you celebrate your birthday on non-leap years. Until next time!